we're at Mayberry Skate Park. I haven't really been filming. Um, Wild ass kids here. Yeah, I know. There's usually no one here. It kind of sucks. But I haven't really been filming lately. Uh, I was kind of going in on the, the YouTube part, you know, the GoPro part. I actually, I don't even think I've like actually announced that yet. So this might be the first time you guys are hearing about it. But um, I've been kind of practicing flat ground for a little bit. I'm in the Battle of the Barracks coming up, and my first game is next Wednesday, so basically a week from today. Today is Tuesday? Yeah. Okay, so It's hard for me to keep track of the days. Fuck. About a week. <laughs> that's nervous. Uh, that's, that's scary. It makes me nervous. But, so, I haven't really been filming a whole lot for those projects. Uh, just been kind of practicing flat ground up here a little bit. I, I kind of wanted to show some of the project or some of the process, some of what I do to like you know warm up and basically like this is what I'm doing to practice for my game coming up. And then later I'll talk about like my board setup, the one I finally decided on using for the game Escape. I'll go into that later. It's funny because I'm gonna go into it now, but then I'm gonna use the footage later. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit however. But, uh, I'll Watch these damn things. <laughs> This is this is the setup I'm going with like for the for the actual game coming up. So runs with grip tape of course, right for them. Uh, it's Griffey. They printed this one specifically for this event. Uh, some of the graphics they had were in the corners, and I feel like whether they were or were not actually messing me up, like mentally they were. Nobody so, needs a distraction. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. I like the I like the graphics, but with this, because the logo is in the center. It doesn't really like like switch heels here switch flips here you know it's like it's, it's up and out of the way yeah exactly exactly right. so it's like you know you still see it it looks cool but uh, it's just not really a distraction and then of course uh, size 8 flight deck shape 242 this has been the go-to for quite a while this is like the rounder mm, the, the more shape. shovel nose yeah, yeah and then for wheels uh, going bones STF uh, 54 millimeter actually uh -oh. that's kind of a switch I was on 52s for quite a while pretty sure yeah 54 uh, now when you did that did you add a spacer or a 
Yeah, spacing around your trucks. No, so it's it's funny because these are. So that was the next thing is the, the Ace lows. But what I noticed was when I switched to Ace, the truck sat a little bit higher than the Venture lows I was on. Okay. So they're both lows, but this is. But that's not as low as the low. Yeah, the low. Exactly, it's a little bit higher, and like my pop felt weird. Like anytime you switch trucks, the timing's gonna be like a little bit off. But they were like really off, and so I had two boards set up, and one of them just happened to have 54 millimeter wheels they were like some prototype shit and it felt great so i put them on and like it felt adjusted immediately perfect yeah, yeah. which is weird because like my board sits way higher now so now i'm thinking like maybe i shouldn't skate with those but you know whatever it's too late i've already <laughs> i've already committed <laughs> there's nothing i can do <laughs> but yeah 54 on like low trucks so there's there's not much clearance you know like wheel bite's kind of a factor but uh to counter that now you ride kind of tighter trucks though, don't you? They're tight as shit. Yeah. <laughs> so that, there you go. They're That'll work. Tight. They're not that tight for me, but like most people step on their like, right, like, right. Look, like this is awful. Uh, yeah, to be totally honest, I believe most technical skaters do ride a tighter truck. Yeah, that's and from the history of me knowing people that also skated a lot of technical stuff. I think it helps with like getting leverage on flip tricks. You know. Yeah. Like when your trucks are turning, it's hard to like it's hard to nollie back heel when you're. You're leaning on the thing and you're like right, and it, it, the, turning. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. You know, but uh, another change for the trucks. Oh, these are the trucks that we grinded down. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that. You did that. You. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Riptide pivot cup to kind of give it more stability. Uh, and then as far as the bushings, it's, it's kind of the same setup I've had. The mini logo and the bones bushing on top. I mean, they still turn. It's not. Yeah, it's turning. A little bit. <laughs> not a lot. But, I believe all skateboards should be to the point of what that in particular person wants to skate, not, yeah. oh, well, you can't skate that because I don't skate that. Yeah, I'm not. That would be kind of silly. I'm not going to let peer pressure fucking dictate, de determine my right? board setup. Like, that's so stupid. Right. I mean, I know people do it. Well, everybody adjusts their car the way that they need to drive it, right? It's not like, oh, well, the last person was in here, did it this way, so I this better. is uncomfortable. Let me just go ahead and leave it. Yeah, even though I can't see over the steering wheel. Like, <laughs> well, that's a different issue. Uh, shoes, that's the other thing. Um, so I'm, these aren't the shoes I'm going to be skating, but... So these are the shoes I'm, I've decided to wear. It's The Fiend. I, these are the shoes I did the video about the um, at the courthouse. They're Volk. They got this little pad right here. They're good. They feel good. Is that what you're going to wear in the Battle of Barracks? Yeah. Okay. So those are going to be the shoes. And uh, I'm going to eat pancakes for breakfast, if you're wondering. I'm okay. sure you're not wondering. All right. <laughs> Tail smack. Woo! Uh, so sketchy. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> So have you ever, when you played pool or any other thing like that, had you ever like 
when you go to set up to shoot the ball, just hurry and go. Like, no setup. Just literally walk up and shoot. Yeah. I used to do it all the time, and I started doing that with skateboard tricks, too. Like, we would practice by, like, just put your foot on the board like, and... Like, do the trick. Do the trick. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. But I have something to add to that. Okay. So, it's, it's funny you say that because I remember... And I like, I help my friends with this sometimes where they're trying a trick and like, they're doing it and they're about to fall, but then they like position and then try it again. And I watched this video on pull randomly that uh, it was a pro basically explaining like, when you go to take the shot, a lot of people, what they'll do is like, they're wrong, but then they'll move their body and reposition. And they'll really be wrong. And what you're supposed to do is step back and reposition. Aye. So like, it's important for me in like game to skate to think about that like, Sometimes you want to rush and just do it how your feet are set up, but it's better to just like, okay, so I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna fucking go back and you know. I'm gonna wash my it. mind from this. Exactly. So yeah. I'm trying to like keep that in mind for the game, but. That's sick. I just wonder if it was only me that ever thought those kind of ways, because I don't know, I'm kind of weird like, sometimes. Imagine playing the game like that. Right. Like you're like. Dude, you know how much flex that would be if you're like. I actually played this whole game in one and when I didn't even like set up any of the tricks like I literally had a one and a half second setup and that was my goal and right and that's crazy the person dude all like, the people oh, will be like oh, what the hell well, okay let's do it right you know, like, that, would be, flex for sure. that would be rad it'd be so stupid but hey sometimes stupid is cool yeah no always. that's what skateboarding <laughs> is <laughs> stupid and cool So good. That might. Little bro scooter is so loud. He got a motor on that shit. shit. Right? <laughs> Fastest fuck, Fast boy. As fuck boy. <laughs> Oh, you ain't switched. <laughs> I'm not showing a lot of the tricks, a lot of the other tricks I've been practicing. There's a lot more, but I think it's just better to... Keep some secrets. Yeah, keep some secrets. So. Yeah. This is like, this is not the extent of it. And this isn't usually how I practice. Usually it's like, I do the trick twice and kind of move on. I've been kind of mixing it up this time just to try to make it like a little less boring instead of me just like trick, hit the fence, trick. You know, yeah. Might get repetitive, but... I'll say, um, do a couple, I'll show you a couple curveballs that, uh, I might have in the pocket. Let's do it. Might have to break out. A couple. I'm not going to show you all my secrets, but let me think of what to show. And I want to do them back to back too, just to like, any ideas? No. 
I don't want to get like too deep, you know. I don't even want to say any names or tricks. I know. You'll be like, that, that one, yeah, shut up! Shit. <laughs> I'll censor you. <laughs> As Kenny gets ready to talk, he's like, burp, burp, burp. Yeah, yeah. It just sounds like you're cussing or something. <laughs> People are used to that shit anyways. Man, I'm trying to think. Something not too grimy. All right, I'll, I'll do a trick on this way, and then a trick on the back. I, I got an idea. Well, that being said, I can't wait to lose round one to some bullshit. <laughs> All this practice for nothing. <laughs> like straight up dudes, like, it doesn't matter, you know, like, it doesn't matter what you practice, cause like dudes could do, Bonuses. Know, people could do tricks that you just never think of, like yeah. switch, burial, heel, backside, 360 body burial. The nice thing is a lot of times they only got one weird little like funky ass trick that you really got to worry about. The basics seem to be the one that usually kills people. Is just make sure you don't lose four on basics and then get caught on the one yeah. bad one. Because at least then you can just be like, "Wow, well, fuck that one bad one. I've got all my basics." And I agree. Then everything usually will pan out just fine. No, that's I agree. That's like my same plan going into it is like I want to have the basics down. Like I'm practicing those a lot of the dumbass tricks. Not all of them, but like obviously fake Casper and like yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm practicing those dumb ones for defense right i don't ever plan on setting some of these like dude here's the ungodly tricks i've learned like things that like would get me banned from the internet if i showed you these tricks i've been doing <laughs> <laughs> i'll get blacklisted but hell no all you gotta tell them is i'm having fun remember everything's oh, about having fun right no for sure no it's uh <laughs> i'm learning those like on the one in a million chance that someone does it it's like at least in my head i know like I have landed it. Yes, and you know where to put your feet and how to even approach it. The chance of me getting it is like slim, but I feel like people usually do the really gross shit on E. Yeah. It's like you have two tries to do it. Exactly, so. exactly. But I'll go in and miss like Nolly Flip and Barry Hugh, you know. That's what I'm saying. Like whatever. It doesn't matter. Like I'm I'm practicing a little bit, but like plan is, you know, after this, go back to filming, work on projects, you know, go back Hell to yeah. normal life. But 